a word for our listeners. Octung Cthulhu is set in the 1930s and 40s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It is not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to Masks of Nyarlathotep, a Nerds Domain Gaming Podcast. Join us each week as our investigators uncover the corruption of the mythos in World War II. Starring George Chimples, Phil Durham, Rob Walker, Justin Kimmett, Shirley Nedzwicky, and Scott Troiano. With Matt Quiet running the table as the keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed Nazi cultists await you just beyond this music. Hi everybody and welcome back to Nerdsmay Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. I'm here with Shirley. Hello. Scott. Hello. George. Hi. Uh, Phil. Having an amazing time. Rob. I just got one up. I'm just having a good time. <laughs> and Jesse. Hello. All right, so you guys are in San Francisco. There's a dead body or two. Uh, probably more like four, since there were some watchers. And you have brought in the paper boy. Oh, yeah. Why did you bring in the paper boy? Because the commander told me to. Yeah. When when the oh. pa- when the he rounds the corner with the paper boy? Yes. Is it the one that sold me the paper? Or yes. Is, or the one earlier? Okay. You wanted the paper boy. You can question him. I don't know what questions you have in mind, so... I'm curious where your line of thought is going, and then I can play off that. He looks I'm... a little scared. Wide-eyed. The paper boy, not me. Yeah, he looks like a wave. <laughs> nice. Um, so, yes. when did you get out in front? Oh, 20 minutes ago. Is there usually a shift at this time? There was usually somebody out there, and then they weren't, so I took what was open. Okay, did you see... Where the kid went that was there before? Nope, it was just empty. You know that paper boys at this time are kind of cutthroat. Right. If it's an empty corner, it's a it's a free corner, and this is right by the Drake. This is where rich people buy papers. Okay, I give him a quarter. All right, go by, go go sell more papers. That's all I need. Yeah, thank you, sir. We need to send people over to where the other two men were, and we need to find the other dead paper boy. Oh no, I agree, hundred percent. Um, the other two men, uh, do you guys go over to check on the other two men or are you staying in the we'll hotel? send our agents over. Okay. Okay. Uh, you send a couple agents over. They, they, uh, they check, they find the bodies. They tell you they're going to send the police over to go through Was it all. Was there anything weird on the bodies? Uh, they didn't, they didn't Notes. find, they didn't find any weapons. The pockets had been rifled. Badges are gone. That's a problem. Um, the, uh, Rifles are gone. The stands are gone. Like, whoever did it, clean them up. Or clean ah, them out. They've been rifled. Uh, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> so funny. Um, so, also, they did find another uh, note. And what does it say? I'll see you in Europe. Was it in German? Yep. I uh, forward that information discreetly to the marshal. Who translated it? One of them probably speaks German. One of the FBI agents? Yeah. It's a German. That's not, not the a, police? That's not uncommon, though. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't He doesn't bring me the note? No, well, he does bring you the, the note, SS. but okay. he also said, like, well, yeah. gives you the I just didn't want to be like, oh, this random cop translated Does the person who speaks German have a German name? I will ask him what his name is. Uh, What's your name? Mike. Um, Laskowski. Yeah, not, not anything German. Okay. Mathers was that Mathers. officer's last name. Mike Mathers. Because you said Wachowski, and all I could think was Polish names, which is <laughs> not how That's not Wachowski. what Mathers most. <laughs> no, that, no, no more puns. No, that's done. Uh, we're done with pun. That was well played. That does. Uh, okay, so you guys, uh, yeah, yeah. So he gives you the note. Anything it's signed the same way? Yes. Nothing strange or odd about it? The scripts are the same. Give me a cryptography. Okay. Cryptology. Crypt- yes. Crypto thingy. Cryptography. Not cryptozoology. No, not cryptozoology. <laughs> not cryptozoology. 
Entomology. Oh my god. <laughs> Reading animals handwriting. No, it's no, that's Bigfoot. <laughs> that's the search for an animal. Made it. <laughs> um, zoo- zoology. Zoology. <laughs> Uh, if, if it had been written slightly different, um, uh, it would essentially say, I'll see you in Europe. Almost like a threat. You meaning me specifically, or uh, not the or general the you? the group. Or the group. Yeah. Whoever is after him. So this is sort of written in a bent, like, and your little dog too. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, what a Europe. The, That's big. The agent seems to be uh, breaking from the note that we intercepted. What the now? Note, oh, the note, the note says that the, to go to Mexico, but um, perhaps um, uh, William oh, Schmidt the... is going to Europe instead. It's also possible that he's going to Mexico and then catching no. a flight to Europe. Yeah, Mexico is where his his exit point from the country. From there, he'll be picked up and. The note says something about... Yeah, go to Mexico or Mexican operatives will bring you home. Right. Okay. Apparently home is Europe. Again, that's vague. Where Germany Should is. we try to go to Mexico and hit him off? Mm, probably not going to make it in time. Probably wasting our time to do that. However, you could look up um, boats and flights. I don't think there's a lot of transatlantic trans- flights. But you could look for boats that are headed to Europe and get a port of call. On a lot of that. And they might take a Zeppelin. Mm, uh, that This is yep. also possible. Uh, there's not a lot of Zeppelin traffic to Mexico. Well, no, but... But to... he could take a boat to, like, New York and fly over on a Zeppelin from there or right. something along those lines. Yeah. How many men do we think did this? Or do we think that this is one exceptional individual um, who killed four people? Roll tactics. Can I get a piece of that? Yeah. I would be impressed if... He got off with all of the things that he collected no. and killed all those people. I missed sure by that. 13. I'm going to try for that, too. I got it. Made it. Um, you. It could have been done by one man. It could have. However, um, your the information you're getting about the deaths show that they were close enough in time that maybe two people at minimum. Because you had one guy that was doing that was taking care of the two guys that were watching the front, and one guy that took care of jo- uh, Joanna and the guy in the back. Were any of the front watchers' forearms punctured? No. So just Joanna. Mm-hmm. She got special treatment. Um, and the examiner comes in and tells you the medical examiner comes in and tells you that uh, she was alive when her wrists were punctured. Does that coordinate with... Uh... Yes, because she would have been punctured there first to literally keep her from fighting back. Because when you sever tendons there, you can't do much with your hands. Um, but it is still symbolic. Have you guys so contacted Probably at your this parents? point is when I would share that information with the group. Okay. What'd you say? Have you guys... Has anybody contacted your parents yet? I assume the police would. Share what information? Um, These puncture wounds, um, I've read about them in German folklore that they're used as a form of punishment. Severe punishment, clearly. Okay, meaning? Uh, just that German connection. I, it's just the information that I have. I don't necessarily know the, its its impact. But it's it's I'm, an idea uh, role. <laughs> I'm going to say that he's not punishing her. He's punishing us. And she was the receptacle to spread that word. Interesting. That would be my guess. Okay. Okay. So where are you guys headed? You could do some research back at the FBI offices or... And you well, said I... it's only about 8, 8.15 or 8.30? Um, by this time, it's probably closer to 9. Okay. You, you've had to get the cops here. You've had to do all the research. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask Gorp if he needs any help putting together a message to... I forget the agent's name that kind of set us up in uh, Boston. Monroe. Monroe. Um, you also all were debriefed by well, um, somebody from the office. When they they arrived, they just debriefed you by asking you what happened, and they walked through all that. They did follow a proper procedure. Well, then we shouldn't need to report back. There's there's a report. I mean, they'll, they'll get the report off to us. We can let the agents do that. Okay, just as long as we get 
some sort of message back with the well our the collective the least that we spread word of the more we can control the more information though it's it's contained here if we need to return back home with someone at some point we can but i don't want information like this traveling and getting caught by the wrong hands again we're already having a problem containing our our knowledge here well then perhaps when in future debriefs with the fbi re- general agents we need to Control. disclose less and right. then just report up more right for as much as they need to know we're searching for a serial killer who believes in the occult or something along those lines let's control our information control our knowledge and i'm going to wander up to the end of the uh, alleyway Mm -hmm. carlos did you see anything no no nothing out of the ordinary nope what are your thoughts this is a bad person obviously do you think it's (laughs) only one no unless it is a individual with abilities that are exceptional in nature i would think that you'd need several people to do what this person did killing four or five people in the span of 10 minutes well and making off of the equipment yeah with a knife nonetheless what was the what were the puncture wounds was that a knife blade was that a Maybe a large nail or a um, spike, maybe an ice pick. That's yeah, that's a good call. Something mm-hmm. along those lines. Something long enough to go all the way through. Oh, so it wasn't just on this. It went all the way through. All the way through. Out the other side. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought it was just stabity. Okay. Uh, the folklore, um, the professor would have told you this, but yeah. the folklore is uh, that it's similar to what they believe happened to Christ. So, so we're uh, talking crucifixion type. Uh, not full not crucifixion, hand, but, but yeah, there's some symbolism there. Symbology. Oh, yeah. All right. Symbolism. If Cahilfa is in the wind, perhaps we can track down his comrade. Perhaps, I don't know if we could track down from the phone number where his hotel was, where he was staying. If you had means to get us to Tijuana tonight, could you do so? Fly us? Oh, yes. Marshall? Do we want to beat him to Mexico or try to get him before he goes transatlantic? Um... We get the means to get there quick. Odds are he doesn't have the same means, based off the time period. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right, that's, right. So we, if, if we you could get, fly there, it's very it's unlikely that he could fly there. Right, right. So yeah, if we can head him off, we're gonna need um, our agents here to be figuring out who's going where, when, and why, travel wise, so we can know where to go when we get there because i'm not going to go into another blind situation like we came into here right i want a better sense of direction than just rushing off to the next location i want to know where we're going and about how long it's going to take to get there and what we're looking for when we get there so a couple of problems with flying straight into tijuana um you're bypassing any kind of you you would have to set that up to allow mexican um the mexican flight government flight agency know that you're going to fly in which means you're going to be f- tracked that flight, which means that you're flying into potentially an enemy enemy area right. where they're going to be watching that. Um, if there's a safe house in Tijuana and Mexico is going to eventually become pro-Germany and it's clear that they're working, something's going on down there. Right. That could that could be a problem. Not to mean it wouldn't get you there fast. It just means that it could get you there fast and you get held up by the government or something worse. This is the kind of thing that you would have, uh, Commander, you would think through. Not a bad plan, just a potential issues. Yeah. Potential well, snags. If we get another boat plane, we wouldn't have to land on a registered airstrip. You'd still have to land in the water close enough to get to the... we still got to fly international, and at the time you can't fly high enough, and, and so the, at least the civilian style, I mean, we're not going to get a military issue aircraft that's going to do it so we're not going to have the, the flight we need to stay 
And if you did get a military issue, flying military plane into Mexico might also <laughs> send some wrong right. messages. But yeah, we can so, actually. Yeah. There's no radar. We can just land wherever. What to say? How, that's, that's true. Well, really how are they going to track us like, going across? That, that, like, that, and that does come down to the pilot's ability to period. right to bring us do in. that right. And then we can land in the water away from a major okay. city. Like, like, even to during World War II, they were land, like they were actually flying from England and landing planes in Germany to drop people off, and then just flying back as possible to do that. Do you know how long of a flight it is from San Francisco to Tijuana? Um. Talking about going to San Diego, so roughly, probably. I'm talking like four nowadays. Hours, five hours. Nowadays is four or five hours. No, no, no. Or it's much it, like in, in nowadays would be like an hour, an hour, hour and a half. I think it's it's only like an hour fifty minute flight from LA to San Francisco. Okay. I think it's say it's like six or seven hundred mi- miles. Okay, so we'll 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 figure six hour flight, um, and then, uh. Uh, hey, uh, Scott, give me a tactics roll. Got it. So probably what you might want to do is fly in um, south of Tijuana, land in the water there, bring it up on shore, and try and hide the plane as best as possible, and, and then come into the town from that way. Or how about fly to L.A. or San Diego? San Diego, more likely of the two, and then beat them to the border. Um, It's possible. Or beat them to Tijuana. Yeah, it's possible. It's a lot of border. Right. Well, it's a lot of border, understandably. That's why we would go to Tijuana <laughs> and wait for the German there. But it's also desert. It's not a lot. There is a lot of border, border but he's most likely going to stay in the car. Depends. We don't know what his contacts are on the other it's side. That's true. That's true. So, I mean, you know, our assumption is that he's going to stay on the car across like normal, but he's, I mean, and they clearly, I mean, they can get in easily and get out easily, but that doesn't mean that that's the path that would take. It would be easier, especially at that time when the borders aren't shuttered and closed off as tight yeah. as they are now, yeah. to slip across. So, for us, it would be more, I mean, if we're, if we're going to take that route and we're going to go that route, the best idea is to get down to Tijuana and cut them off there. How much space between quietly. how much space between Tijuana and the border? None. I mean, is it on? Is it on well, the border? I'm, I'm yeah. thinking a map. it is. Holy but, crap! But at, at, at that time, okay, then there might be a little bit of space, but you're still not looking at a ton. A ton. Because I'm thinking we split the difference and we drive down to halfway there and see. I mean, eventually they're going to use the road into Tijuana. They're not going to stay in the desert the whole way and then just walk up onto a sidewalk somewhere from from the desert. At least. If they do that, well then, shucky darn, we've been had. However, my thought is eventually there's going to be some form of transport that we may be identify, be able to identify, and potentially set up the so road, wanna, set up the roadblock north of Tijuana, and so go. So you want to stop every car coming through? That's my first thought. You got a better one? Alternate possibility: if we look, the border is fairly porous, and those federales and federal agents work with each other all the time down there. He did that with Via, right? You can... We're going to be in the air. We send word to the field office down there. They start beating the bushes, spreading around some money, trying to find out where the German sympathizers are in town. Maybe we can get a look on this safe house. Hmm. That gives us the opportunity to move freely and try to cut them off there while controlling our side here. We could just meet them in Tijuana or meet them just over the border in San Diego and see what the possible leads are that they've made. Your call, Marshall. I'm with, for what it's worth, I'm with Carlos. I'm afraid that if we start stopping cars, he's, that's going to send up a red flag. And they'll find uh, a different way to get across the border. I mean, if if he's got the wherewithal to see that we have a large group meeting for a dinner party and executes the target, then we're not dealing with someone who's going to fall for a road blockade. Because people are going to be coming back from that blockade. Traffic is going to get piled up a little bit. And if that's the case, and as soon as that starts to happen, they're going to put two and two together, and they're going to bail out. Fair so enough. Why, why would we take the potential risk of losing our, our, our perp? Fair enough. I'll follow your lead. Marshall, tell us what we're doing. So you guys are going to call down to the Tijuana, not really an office office. No, San Diego. Or San Diego. Okay. So I imagine that they would have a working relationship with the people across the border. Okay. and um, So you call down there and do that. Um, and then you guys are going to fly down? Yeah, we don't want a roadblock. 
Okay. Seaplane, or are you going to register the flight? We're just going to San Diego now and coming over the border normally. That's a, If that's the plan, that's fine. Okay. Uh, if we fly to San Diego, we'll make some headway. So even if they left now, we've got to catch up on 30 minutes travel. So, Which would be easy. If they're going by car, that's yeah, going to take them even probably... If, even if they're going by right. train, you guys are going to beat them to right. San Diego, so that's, period. That's, that's the yeah. important part. We've got a couple hours to prepare. We can. It would be a good idea even to give the description... Because you said he was fairly identifiable. Right. Give a description to the border guards so that at least we can get an idea of when, when they cross, if they cross. Right. And, regular and, and crossing. With conventional means, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right. Good call. Uh, so you guys, uh, are you doing anything in San Francisco to p- picking anything up? Mr. Anything? October. Yes. Your uh, weapon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I, you. I assume you're all going to be armed on this flight. Do, yeah. <laughs> do we have some time before we head out? I don't know. That's up to you guys. That's what I'm asking. Do we have some time before we head out? You might have. You like could easily have an hour, and it still would put you ahead of him. I want to. I want to have as much leeway that we can. I want to have as much leeway as we can. I want to make sure that we are in position and ready to do what we needed to do, so we don't have a lot of time. Twenty, thirty minutes tops. What? That should be all I need. If if it's anything that the San Diego field office can put together for us, they can be waiting for us when we get there. What needs to be waiting for us when we get there? Actually, that works. Yeah. Okay. Instead of us running okay. around and doing it. Okay, that's fine. So you guys fly out. I want to contact the field office to have something waiting on me. What are you having them? I uh, let me guess. It's a magic stick. No, it's a stiletto. Uh, okay. Nice. Okay. In San Francisco, that's you can it. probably just buy one on the street but corner. They weren't letting me out. We're leaving now. Yeah, they, they did have them. You can buy one on the way to the airport, man. <laughs> right. They have them on the airport. You can put it on the plane. I mean, you can just reach yeah. out the window would, as we drive by, throw five dollars out, and someone will throw a stiletto into your open window. Exactly. <laughs> right. You, the, you can get, uh, actually, you can get that in the terminal. <laughs> no, you can at, buy it duty free on probably. the plane. Yeah. Yeah. There's, nice. no, there's no metal detectors, and you're flying Air Carlos. You can carry whatever you want. <laughs> Air Carlos. <laughs> Air Carlos. Air Carlos is the best. Air Carlos encourages weaponry on his flights. <laughs> he also serves wine the whole time. A lot of sherry. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. I will also go up and make sure she's informed of what's going on and is ready to head out. We are, uh, we are leaving. I will be heavily drugged and very malleable. And drugged or drunk? Very... Drunk. You did not get drugs. Why can't I have drugs? Drunk. Drunk. Drunk Isn't wears off a lot quicker than drugs. Something? Laudanum. Dr- laudanum. Dr- laudanum. You don't laudanum. I, I, I would laudanum. rather you drunk Why than drugs. Why is it the rich people are always taking laudanum? <laughs> laudanum. Again, San because Francisco would have been very popular. You can get barbiturates. If, if you got some on your yeah. own, then you got it. But I was trying to yeah. keep you drunk. Because because I, I want to be cool. numb at this point in time. My guilt is so overwhelming. Okay. Car- Carlos um, is going to come to the door and say, Joanne. May I speak with her briefly? Absolutely. Uh, um, Shirley, I... real, hold on. Real quick, Shirley, can you take your uh, constitution times four and roll that for me? Because I needed a clarification from a previous statement. Okay. Well, I, we'll, we'll have her answer a question okay. kind of, as soon as she's drugged. Go Excellent. ahead and roll. What's your number? 14. Okay. No. 79. That, um, that's 76, but yeah. Uh, 76. So go ahead and ask your question, Scott, and we'll assume that she's not drunk for this question. Was, I'm not drunk? No. You not yet. Well, go ahead, Scott. Was that uh, Tawny Port or uh, Ruby? No, you said Sherry, not Sherry. Tawny. I apologize. My, uh, my question is moot. Carry on. <laughs> What's moot to begin with? <laughs> so I'll go up and uh, knock on Evelyn's door. Uh, She comes to the door and opens it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if you're numb, you can still open doors. Laudanum does not put you that far out. I but wouldn't want to get out of the bed. Whether or not she opens the door. Is the door locked? No. I come in. What do you want? I know that this must be very hard for you, Evelyn. Seeing a loved one dead is difficult. You may not know it, but you're at war. I think your country might soon be at war. And in war, people die. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of that. And she's not being sarcastic in any way, shape, or form. She just Don't worry. The more you see your loved ones die, the easier it will get for you. It will get better. How can this ever get easier? 
it gets easier. He pats her on the head and walks out. <laughs> so how'd it go? Wow. I think I was helpful. Sobbing. <laughs> I'm sobbing and I take another drink of laudanum. You no 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 you take drops of laudanum. Drops? Yeah. 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 You, no, you drop laudanum them in, drops. You don't drop guzzle. them in your water and you in drink the water. See, this is yeah. how I I don't know how to do I learned drugs. that from Deadwood. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you know what? I think I knew that from um not Wiley Coyote, god dang it. Wiley Coyote yes. Wider <laughs> From Tombstone. Do you remember when Roadrunner is yes. doing all the laudanum? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All of all That's why all the the laudanum. That's why kids can't watch those cartoons. Anymore. None of them. No, no. You mean the coyote kept Wiley taking coyote. the laudanum so that he, when no, he the, kept getting... There's, there, no, there's a deleted Gosh. one where, where he actually finally catches them and, he, and then the, the Roadrunner becomes a drug addict. Yeah. And it was really harrowing. Oh, my <laughs> God. And also heroin <laughs> yeah. into the bird. What? Okay, right. so, hey. All right, we're going to focus. Okay, um, tops and my whatever. All right, so you guys get on the plane. Yes. Yes, but Good. I do have a. <laughs> of course, you do, Phil. Go I immediately right stare into the ocean and die. <laughs> Go ahead, Phil. What's your question? We're all gonna die anyway. Focus. Do I know anything of, or am <clears throat> I already familiar with the book that Mister October bought? Devermi's Mysteries. Yes, you're familiar with it. Have I read it? No. I have. No, you probably have not. If you if did, you have Evelyn, Cthulhu knowledge. If I've been with, if I've been with Evelyn. Wait, if I've been with Evie, yes, I would. No, no there was this, no book there this, for you to this read. This is the book I bought Miskatonic? from the other guy. No, yeah. this is the book I bought from the other guy. Okay, so this book wouldn't have been at Miss yeah, that's Which correct. I, 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 I it. bought a new Got book it. for okay. you to read when you sober up. Is anybody else here would like to read this? Um, what, what language is it in? French, right? For what language yes, is it in? it's in French. French. No, or Latin, I don't remember. Oh, I, I can actually French. read it. Do you speak French or, and or Latin? I speak Latin. Okay. I'll look it up. <laughs> okay, well, that that so might even be maybe resolved some other time. But if it, if it's a language I can read, and Mister October will lend it to me, I will read it. Um, that's probably oh, going to have to be done between uh, chapters of this game. Latin. Well, I can get started on it on a four to five hour flight. Can I not? Um, I, I'm not I'm going so to be um... as loose in this game as I was in the last one. Uh, because books should actually take a long time to read. I'm not. I'm not um, trying to gain anything from it immediately, but I although, can say I start I'm, wait, hold reading on, it. Hold I have on, a 75 in speed reading. It takes 48 weeks to read and comprehend. So Fair this enough. book. So this book wait. starts with E pluribus lunum. <laughs> yeah. It's a little different. You. Go, I thought it was E pluribus lunum. Hold on, we're giving the books to the professor again. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. By, I, the, by the way, we have a bad you, history of that. But you seem to be uh, drug addled right now. I'm just trying to establish that I'm starting to read. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. Um, I believe if the professor tries to start a library, <laughs> we all recognize the fact that. Sorry, Phil. <laughs> I have more faith in Phil than <laughs> previous professors. <laughs> okay, so you guys fly down to San Diego. You get your stiletto. Yay! Um, put it in my boot. Is it a? At this point, do you want us to start declaring exactly how much ammo we're, we're carrying? Yeah, that would actually be a good be a good one. Um, I need to know. I want everybody. All of it. <laughs> no. Okay. All I want everybody to write down any weapons they have, and we can do this between next game, this game, and next because I it's not going to matter a lot right this second. Uh, but I need to know. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I need to know exactly what weapons you have, what weapons you're carrying, and how much ammo you have. And no, all of it is not the right answer, Scott. No, but I was just wondering, as we came in for the per- approach and we're landing, could we wave said weaponry out the window while singing? No, 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 no. No, because you're still in San Diego. Oh, yeah, we will be Diego. landing in San Diego, won't we? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so you guys land in San Diego. You hop a car down to south of the border border in san diego you get the information that they know of some german sympathizers but they're not sure of any safe house where that might be um so yeah that's that's the information they've got names uh they give you the names and where we might find them yeah yeah they give you they they run you through the money or through the information i turn and look at carlos is that sufficient? Should we beat the location of the safe house out of them? Well, <clears throat> it's certainly a place to perhaps start. I'm not sure 
what other means we might go about doing so. Do it. We could always just bribe them. That commander doesn't work. German. I hear these. The commander speaks German. The commander speaks German. <laughs> Thus, he's our end. If they're German sympathizers, he's the one that's going in like a German. So Evelyn, you speak German as well, don't you? German? Yes. We should dress him up as a German and we should take I him I can in. dress up as a German. She you speaks, can't, she speaks can't, German can't, as well. She speaks, yes, there we go. Now we have, our, we have our party of infiltrators. I don't know we about could, fluent. We could I, be a couple. I would think that it might <laughs> we perhaps could. be I, more plausible to dress me and her as peasants off dressed Americans who are attempting to travel through the country and not be seen as opposed to pulling out our later hose. Could I wear I'm a not kerchief I'm talking on about your freaking traditional German garb. I'm talking about people the the way that our men have been dressed. That's what we're going to replicate. If I knew we needed a later hose and I'd have brought it with me. It and so there cute it is. Later hosen. So, hold on real quick. George, what's that thing where the Germans called for Germans in other countries to come home and fight in the war? Uh, the Volk something or other. Volkswagen or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's it's the same route. People's though. car. Is, uh, has that, that, that happens in 39. Volksfry, the Volks. Has that happened? I think already? it have been doing it previously. Okay. It's not like we don't all have smartphones. So, Scott. Us. Scott. Yes. You could. Just mine the, you get this idea because I'm not going to make you roll it. Did you just <clears> say Volkshen <throat> Minecraft? Yeah. Volkish Minecraft. No. Okay. Uh, there's there's a uh, order out from Hitler that the German people in other countries should come home. You could pretend to be one trying to get back to Germany to fight for them. That's not the worst idea. And I convey this idea to the group. If we could get on the plane with the guy, it'd be a lot easier to take him out in the air. More likely a boat, but yeah. And if we can get on a boat, we could take him out on the boat. We're good at killing people on boats. It certainly is more civil to... Was it a purple or people? Was it a purple? English bad. It's really more civil than than my suggested approach. you desire to get out of the country in an innocuous manner where you won't be tracked by U.S. authorities because you wish to come back as a saboteur or spy. You can prove your bona fides that way. Perhaps. Yeah. But how are the rest of us going to get on the boat? Well, we just need him to get to the safe house. You guys could swim to the boat. Once we know where they're going, once we once we've uh, spoken with the sympathizers and we have a good clear idea, like oh, a boat's taking off at this time, or we have already this arranged for someone else, we can get you in the same plan. And now we have somewhere to go. Well, and we have had success with boats offshore. I mean, yeah. once the boat leaves the shore, I believe we could round the cavalry. But then there's and... werewolves on them. We did well with the last werewolf. Werewolf. Yes, we did. The, the werewolfen. In my life, I never thought we'd have this conversation. Agreed. You're not very adventurous. <laughs> Does somebody want to get her coffee? <laughs> Was is los? Yeah. Well, no, actually, this is going to play to our advantage because he's trying to get her home too because she's sick. And by w- sick, where are we having this conversation? Man. Well, they don't know that she's drugged. Either in the FBI office or in the car ride because it's not like it's a twenty-second drive across okay. the border. That's why we don't have coffee. <laughs> but I mean, no, no, this is all going to work to our benefit. It's not going to be. A, it's not a negative thing. This isn't hurting us. This is all helping us. This is this is making it a lot more believable. It just. Especially if she's going to be as snippy as she's been, that's not going to be helpful. That's not a very nice thing to say. I At- can't understand your sword speech. What? <laughs> what that's did, not what? a very nice thing you're, you're to right say. You're right about snippy. What did you take? What? what? What were you taking up in your room? Uh, just a drink. Of? I saw uh, an eyedropper on the table. Rum. It's I, rum. An eyedropper? Carlos yes. gave me rum. What would you, I did not give what would rum. You, what would rum. you drink out of an eyedropper? Opiates. We need to pick some up then. But what? I have some right here. He's going to keep the game going. <laughs> You're not about to take some too, are you? Is no. This something that runs in the family? No, but Does she's much more agreeable. Tea. <laughs> right. We need tea. 
So well, you guys... we haven't established if we're at the office <clears throat> or in the car. I would assume the car. Car. So yeah, you're okay. in the car trying to drug the drugged girl already. <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna. <laughs> we're, we're not trying to drug her. We're, we're, gonna, we're keep gonna keep her drugged. Yeah, we want to keep her drugged. I just have. I have her right here. So Evelyn and can the I commander can engage while the rest of us keep watch. Yes. I would appreciate it if at least one of you would follow us in discreet or er, discreetly. Oh yeah, um, wear a kerchief. It we're... works. I do speak Spanish, sort of well. What, really? But aren't you like sort of? Never mind. He's making a joke. Oh yeah. While I don't speak German, I am of German descent. I told you I would teach you. You never wanted to come and learn. Anyway, <laughs> so you guys are going to uh, send the commander and the drug-addled girl <laughs> off to the, which, you know, Sounds honestly, like it's been a six-hour flight. It is probably honestly wearing off some. Unless, unless you continue you're, to sneak it. <laughs> yeah, if you're, I would assume if you're doing that in the car, someone's going, or we're, the we're, plane, we're, someone's going to stop we you. We will stop her. Yes, I will stop her, if nothing else. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. So it's probably um, so wearing off, which leaves her. you with a terrible headache and it's unpleasant you know what the cure for that is coffee more drugs rum more laudanum somebody get me some um, tea you guys uh, drive into Tijuana um, so the first thing I'm going to need Scott you and Evelyn to do um, Evelyn you're going to be at a negative 20 for anything you're rolling at this point <laughs> I just need some just... tea except dodge you can actually get a plus 20 on dodge <laughs> I could fall down really good. Yeah. Um, so you guys uh, are you are going to go approach a German safe or a German sympathizer? Um, talk your way into going over. Carlos is going to follow you and kind of keep an eye on you discreetly, and then the other three of you are going to wait for information. Is that correct? Uh, I just want to make sure this is the plan. If this is not the plan, should we stay with the car and keep it ready in case they have to make a quick escape? Should one of us stay with the car in case you need to make a quick escape? Well, uh, so it's never going to be just one. It'll it'll never do you just one. We'll have we'll break it into pairs. We'll we'll keep it in pairs at least. So two um, people follow. Um, Is anybody else good the commander at and following people? Because I am not. No, but. And then um, two of us set up a location, a base. I don't know. I guess. Are you guys like talking about this openly? Yes. I don't feel very protected. You're with the commander. He knows what he's doing. You guys aren't very sneaky. <laughs> as long as you listen to the commander, all will be fine. Do you love me? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> I, I reply in German. A little bit. Un petit. That's French. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. Yeah, soon it'll be the same. Yeah, I call her. <laughs> a... I can tell your trip to Europe's are going to be bad. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on this. Um, I I understand not leaving any any man alone. Um, but you know certainly the the more people involved, the the more likely I think there's the chance of being caught. So I think there's only one of us capable of following him as well. So not not I. I'm not sure. Not Ooh. me either. Just just Carlos. I've got the training, but I don't have the sneak. Do you have a uh, field craft? <clears throat> I do. I do. Field has... craft covers sneak, hide, and uh, oh, conceal. Then, then that's me. Okay. Then maybe you should go with him. Like he's a baby seal. <laughs> I and club them. Conceal, 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 oh, conceal. <laughs> conceal. I just which conceal. should also be delicious. Mm, no, given the criteria. No, from earlier. Uh, no. <laughs> so. That, uh, that's me. I think that 
they, my time might best be spent either um, doing research on something or um, establishing a base with you know, at the hotel or wherever we're staying. Um, I can certainly watch as best uh, as directed. But I'm not. I think that that might just increase the odds of us being discovered if I go with the party meeting the German sympathizer. I will. Leave. Then you stay here. Right. Well, we can leave October and the professor together. Yep. Carlos will keep the car running. He wouldn't be able to sneak if his life depended on it. And I will keep a watch on the couple. I thought you both were going to keep a watch on the couple. Carlos is good at sneaking. <laughs> Not really. His kind typically is. What kind? <laughs> air, air, airplane pilots. <laughs> wow. Poor people. Uh oh. <laughs> Might not have been the best. The whoa, 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 whoa. You seem as if you'd be well skilled in such a task. <laughs> okay, fly. let's stop. I fly airplanes stop. for a living. The bourgeoisie say that, that poor people are good. <laughs> it's not quite a communist yet. <clears throat> yet. 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 Hey, they gave. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who so, gave him the airplanes to fly? You are right. Sir's the capitalist. And if his, yeah. if his kind is good at sneaking, your kind is good at sitting back and staying out of the way. So we'll play it that way. Uncle, that's not a very nice thing to say. Now. Say. You're sorry. No, that's unimportant. He doesn't need to apologize. It is best to get this done quickly. The marshal is right. Okay, so, who is following the couple? Carlos and I. Okay. And so, the professor and October are hanging out at the hotel. They're the base. hang out yes. at the... Well, we don't have a field office now. No, you don't. We're in Tijuana. This yeah. is no good. We're kind okay. of setting yeah. up a field office? Yeah, we'll, see. we'll set up a field office. Well, that's could, a good idea. Well, and they could maybe... They could maybe go see a show. I don't know if there's any live performances. <laughs> no, or... no, Scott, we're gonna end that discussion what? right there. Well, just no the, the culture Mr. that Mr. October and I are well dressed, and so I think that we could certainly go into take in a show. The... No, take go to one of the nicer hotels and arrange yeah, absolutely. for yeah somewhere um... that will definitely have a phone and tea. Right, and, and what tea? No one cares tea. about your tea, hon. We need to get this going. All right, so she looks dejected. So, so, so okay. <laughs> space and rooms for sleeping. Okay, so Mister October and uh, the professor throw around some money. You don't need to make any rolls. You're good. Uh, what I need from Carlos and uh, Mel is a little bit of field craft. Carlos is going to stay no. with the car. Is, so. is Mel Gorp's first name? Hmm? Gorp. Oh. Mel Gorp. Yes, Mel Gorp. Okay, you said Mel, and I was. Gonna... Uh, yeah, Car- Carlos, no, either give me that, sneaker yeah. or field craft, that, whichever like you see solution. fit. My thing is, I'm doing mostly just like walking around with the crowd if they've seen anybody. I'm not trying to sneak around or follow. I'm more keeping an eye on him and just watch it. Like, I don't. I can make a field craft roll. But yeah, I'm go ahead and make a field craft roll. It's not. Yeah. But I'm not as up. I'm not like on his back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got mine. Failed by four. Oh, no. Well, that's fine. Um. So you kind of, uh, Carlos, you, you keep a good eye on him. Um, you grab a beer at an open air bar, um, keep an eye on the, uh, on Mel. Um, people shy away from you. You, you're clearly creeping them out with the half burned body. Um, Mel, you, you are keeping a good eye on the, on the two. They head down an alley, which you know they were going to, um, uh, commander. You and Evelyn. Evelyn, you were pretty sober-ish now. Mm-hmm. Ish. Um, you approach a gentleman sitting on a box for what is clearly like a back alley. Wow, what are those called? Where you go and gamble? Casino? Casino. Gambling like den. like a, a gambling den. Thank you. Yeah. Um, it's probably a back alley gambling den. Um, you know this is this is where you make your contact. So you walk I've got, up like a huge headache, so I'm leaning on you. Okay. You walk up. The gentleman on the box is clearly not Mexican. He is uh, European descent of some sort, but there is no olive tint to his skin whatsoever. Who is my contact supposed to be? 
Uh, you have a, a random named guy. And I come up. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Da. Wait. No, that's Russian. <laughs> wow. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. He speaks back in German, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he speaks back in the Zer- Z German. Well played. Um, and I ask for... Da. <laughs> I, am, I am looking for... Random contact name? For what? I wish a moment of, a to- of his time. I wish to speak with him. I hope to speak with him of family and country and my wife. He uh, he pulls out a piece of chalk and just scrapes above him, puts chalk down. Hang on a minute. <laughs> He's all like, "Hey, hang out." Okay. Um, we 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 step across and mm-hmm. sort of keep to ourselves. Don't look at him. Don't like if anybody from else comes up the opposite to... direction that you came from so like the that whole alleyway goes this way gork's probably back that way keeping an eye out on you uh-huh. from down there come two like come two gentlemen um they walk up to you one of them uh doesn't it's not roughly but he kind of grabs your arm to lead you away and says come with us we'll take you to your contact and I hook my arm underneath Evelyn's. Oh, the other one's on the on the other side of her and has also is also That's that's fine. I still hook yeah, her arm fine. so yep. we stay like Mike my, my concern to the crowd here is for my obviously ill feeling wife. Do you have field craft? I do uh, I believe I do. Hold on. I thought you just rolled that. No, no, he rolled something no, I rolled else. Something else. <clears throat> oh, rolled German as well, I'm sorry. No, I do not have fieldcraft. Okay. Uh, but I do have German. Flying colors on the German. Do you have disguise? Or um persuade? Either. You probably have persuade. Yes, I've got Persuade. Okay, roll Persuade. Made it. Don't forget to mark all these. Oh, yeah, thanks. Um, so, yeah, you you, are, you seem pretty convincing that, that uh, you are holding on to her, not just because she's sick, but because, you know, you're in Tijuana um, in some back alley, and this seems a little weird. And my other arm, even though they grab it, is going to attempt to cover what would be my wallet or the money, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. just to help yeah, yeah, sell the yeah, like. Hey, yeah. whoa! All right. Um, yeah. No, that's that. They 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 don't seem offset by that. They take you down out the alley, across the street, into a building. Uh, Mel, you lose them down the alley, but you quickly bolt like go around, keep an eye on them. Signal, Carlos. Yeah, and you see them go into the the building. Um, the door shuts. There's no guard outside, no nothing, but it's like a nondescript door. Okay. Uh, give me a spot hidden. Both of us? Uh, yeah, you both can do it. Got it. Scott, give me an espionage. Passed. 28 under 84. So as you're going in, you mark the door as uh-huh. well. Right. I mean, you, you expected this just in case they didn't see you've left the, the mark. Um, the two of you, uh, Gorp and Carlos, you see the, his mark. You see him go in, leave a mark, but you also see another mark up on the top right hand corner of the door frame. You're not sure what it is or what it means, but you at least <clears throat> see that that it is marked as something. Uh, you are led. Uh, I'm sorry, Evelyn and and Commander and the Commander. You're led into a room, a small room. Uh, there's a gentleman, a very sweaty uncomfortable looking German. He's clearly German. He couldn't be more stereotypical, blonde, blue eyed, uber ma- man, like kind of German. Is it uber mensch? Yes, that's the word. Um, he's sitting there behind his desk, uncomfortable. Um, and as you're brought in, he says, what can I do for you? And I take off my hat respectfully and I say, we have talked with people and we're told to mm-hmm find you and what for we wish to return return where to the fatherland 
and you say the fatherland, meaning German, Germany in, in German. German. Like yes. you say, Vaterland. You the, say the, it in the, the Vaterland in, in that way. Yes. Okay. Like uh, roll like your German home. Roll your German because this one's an important. Absolutely. If you screw that up, you've just given the wrong three. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Um. Got it. Yeah. Um. So you. Yeah. Um. He looks you up and down, and then uh, he says quickly in uh, low German, take their wallets, I want to see them. I pull my wallet, pull the money out of it, and hand the wallet over. And oh, hand, like, uh, oh, no, no. When you go to grab your wallet, mm. he, the, one of the men with you grabs your arm, Okay. pulls your wallet out, takes the money out, and puts it in his pocket. Traveling exp- expenses. Da? Not da. Not da. <laughs> all of my Russian is German, or all of my German is Russian. You're falling in with communists. Oh, <laughs> These no. are the communist Germans. And I and I, I kind of wide eyed at like, uh, 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 uh. I give it a little. Um, you you just bought had money in there. I mean, this doesn't right. even have you don't right. have a pictured cards or anything. No. Okay. Yes, I brought my FBI ID. I, I, well, no. I assume no, that you I probably that. put some sort of ID in there that they just had lying around at the FBI office of some guy's name some german sounding name sure because it's an identification card they're really easy to fake. Right. so um they, they rifle through that your wife probably doesn't have a bag because evelyn is too drunk to or too uh messed Hi. up to have remembered um this this uh this money will cover some of it but you can cover more how much more how much money did you have 15 bucks yeah another hundred will cover you want to eat well that will be another 25 so we have to put you on a boat 125 for both of us yes now we could lessen that but it would be unpleasant for your wife and i i rub her back no no we will we will find the money I will need it in the next couple of days. We have one more. We have a boat going out. What was the last word? I have a boat, we have a boat, we have a boat going, going out. In, out. Oh, in out. the next couple of days. Okay. You then, can have that. And I look at her again earnestly. Yes. And, she, and I, I shake. I shake my head at her. She shakes her head at me. Okay. Yes. Uh, roll your German again. Got it. Are you speaking high or low? Low. The whole time? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Until then, you will need to find a hotel room somewhere near, and we need to know where. Okay. I I look around the room. We cannot stay here? No. We don't need you coming and going for the next couple of days. Oh. Okay. Um, Where would you recommend? Where is safe? Nowhere. But if you keep your head down, you can stay at, and he names a place like that you know is close by, because it's probably where you're already staying. <clears throat> okay. Um, It's clean. Ah, it's good. You're, you're certain that the place he would direct these... Not necessarily. Oh yeah, no. You guys are staying at a really nice place. No, you're right. It, it's a, <laughs> it's a place that you probably passed on the way here. Okay, that's a good point. Good point, Phil. Good call. He's. We're staying at the Ritz Carlton. Uh, the, the Mexico Ritz Carlton. Ritz Carlton, which is like four rats <sighs> instead of eight rats. Yes. yes. We apologize I, I for our Mexican that Mr. listeners. Uh, October and I went to some place where we wouldn't stand out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you yeah. are. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. Again, I heard there was a show where no, you guys no, wouldn't stand out. No. So you guys, uh, yeah, he, uh, he says good. Then I suggest you head there as soon as possible. Da. And the, one of the gentlemen opens the door. I'm trying to talk to Matt, right? <laughs> <laughs> da. One of the gentlemen opens the door, doesn't motion, just expects you to leave. Okay. Then I gather up my, I gather up Evelyn and we head towards the door. I am positioning her to go out first. Okay. You go that way. Okay. Yes. Uh, they did hand you back your wallet with your ID. And- oh, good. I'm very relieved. I'm sure there's pictures in there of something. Who sure. Knows? Um, and you guys start, you head back, you head towards that hotel. Yes. And that will do us tonight for the Nurse Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. 
we will talk to you guys real soon. And that will do it for us tonight on the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Nyarlathotep. Remember, you can email us at nerdsdomain at gmail.com or find us on facebook.com forward slash nerdsdomain on Twitter at nerdsdomain or over at our site nerdsdom.com Be sure to sign up for the newsletter while you're there. You can head over to iTunes and give us a five-star rating. We want to thank Josh Shop for our music. Don't forget, you can support us at patreon.com forward slash nerds domain. And check out our shirts at slashloot.com.